with milk in his hand. The man, perfectly formulated a key to break out of jail. First he unfolded the milk carton. He tore off the film inside. When he was out on the street, he quietly stuck the film on the combination lock of the cell door. So that when the guards entered the code, when the guards enter the code, their fingerprints will be left behind. Then he figured out 24 combinations. He figured out 24 combinations of codes. Then, the man wet toilet paper. Then he squeezes it into a small ball. He squeezed toothpaste into it. After making several of them, he wraps it in a full sheet of toilet paper. And then, while the guards were delivering the food, he slipped the paper into the lock of the window. When the guards left, he pushed the window open and reached out to test the code. The hardest part was the overhead surveillance. He listened to the noise outside every minute of every day. He realized that the guards would go out for a smoke together every day. So for seven minutes a day, the room was empty. To be sure, the man began to look around. This story tells us that simple things can make a big difference. The man was locked in a small dark room. He successfully tested the code to open the cell door, then climbed into the vent while the guards are out smoking to the fire station while his teammates outside detonate a car. The man quickly changes into his fire suit, followed the fire truck to the scene of the incident. While the firefighters are scrambling, he got into a car that was picked up by his teammates. He escaped from the prison. And the man who escaped from the prison, the next moment he came to the warden to tell him passionately about his escape. Passionate narration. Take up space. It turns out that the man's real identity is not a criminal. He's a master escapologist specialized in testing the security of prisons. On this day, a beautiful woman came to the door, hired the man to help test the security of the mysterious prison. The man gladly agreed. But what he didn't know, they were about to be caught up in a great conspiracy. This story tells us, beautiful women, can't be trusted. How do you get your bearings in the middle of the ocean? The men made a simple sextant. Then he asked his teammates to find the warden and report their escape plan. In exchange for a chance to prey on the deck, and the men used the sextant to measure latitude and longitude. With the data in hand, Sean immediately began to plot his position. First of all, the toilet flushes counterclockwise. That means they're in the northern hemisphere. And secondly, the inmate who just came in said it's November. And the men are clearly feeling the warmth of the climate. That means they're in the subtropics. And thirdly, the ship is moving very smoothly which means they're not in the Caribbean or the Pacific. To summarize, Sean figured they were in Morocco, Africa, when everything was ready. The man deliberately tapped Morse code in his cell to lure the warden into sending a team to check C block. And then, while he was short on manpower, Sean climbed down the pipe from B block to the exit, but the gate was electronically locked. So Sean went to the power supply to cut the electricity, and his partner made it to the deck just in time for the helicopter that came to pick him up. Sean was washed out to sea. He made it to the surface. He climbed up the ladder and only hit the gas tank behind the warden. The last shot, he hit the gasoline. And then he went on his way. This story tells us, study hard, learn more.